Right, so uh, in this video, uh, we're gonna have a look what Aquarius are to experience in the upcoming week, which is uh, July 20th to 26th. So let me shuffle the cards. And uh, the first thing that we're gonna look at is going to be in terms of, um, in terms of career. So the first one for Aquarius in terms of career, that is going to be the Devil card. Moving next, uh, we do have the Four of Cups, followed by uh, the Hangman. And the last one that uh, you have for your career, Aquarius, that is going to be the Page of Swords. So it's, um, it's a quite of an interesting week when it comes to uh, career development for you guys. <clears throat> Now, first and foremost, the week itself, um, or how can I, well, I, it goes like that. It's throughout the week, you're going to have that feeling that is for those who are working, okay? You're going to have that feeling that you could have done more uh, in one place or another, or in one project or another, but for some reason now, regardless of how much things you throw in into, <clears throat> or how much devotion you you dedicate uh, into the project or into the deed or whatever you know how much resources you throw into the the, the thing just doesn't doesn't want to unfold as as far as you want it to unfold throughout this week so is this going to bring some unfulfilled plans mm, probably but that's that's the kicker here <clears throat> Those unfulfilled plans and those unfulfilled expectations, they do have a reason not to be fulfilled. Uh, with the hangman into the third position, that card points that this delay is happening for the greater good. Um, what I do suspect, it is that further in the future, beyond this week, July 20th to 26th, um, a much, much better resolution is going to come about. And that's why right now your current resolution that you are anticipating, uh, it's set on halt by the universe or by the circumstances or whatever. And it will be very stressful and rather futile you trying to accomplish it at all costs. So pretty much... <clears throat> Uh, whenever something is, is giving you really, really tough time in terms of career and you have to push it so hard and still it does not unfold the way it is supposed to unfold, it is best to leave it aside and just attend to other stuff there that you can actually make a difference at. Now, uh, the interesting thing about the reading itself it is that you do have the devil at uh, the first position and uh, uh, it appears in a very awkward way uh, literally its main manifestation does not show up here in this reading uh, and uh, pretty much points that throughout this particular week uh, you will be able to boss around people for one or another reason i mean you don't you don't have to be their supervisor or their team leader you know or their their boss but still people are going to listen to you. And that's why you may decide, oh my God, now, as people are listening to me, I can throw all I got into this plan or into this endeavor. And it's going to be a waste of time, like said, because simply there is a better resolution likewise, and it will come further down the road. So what is, um, uh, what is the best way to accomplish the week once again? It is to just... Um, separate or or redirect you know efforts to those kind of enterprises and projects into your career that are simply you know happening that, that are not giving you a, a hard time this week's success goes through a rather peaceful and consistent um how do you say it? progress okay um instead of a sluggish one so i i will repeat it for the fourth time whatever gives you slog you just let it stay that way for the duration of the week and what happens at the end of the week here it is that um, 
I just uh, it first a couple of things happening uh, are happening actually. So at the end of the week, it does look like that you are going to receive some kind of an unexpected help, and maybe that help itself is going to have a a, a finger or is going to take a part into the better resolution of um, of your goals and of your aims, and as well uh, some kind of a, a thought is going to start dwelling in your mind. It's not going to be well shaped. So it can be manifested, but the very remnants of it, the very first remnants of that thought is going to start dwelling in there. And as soon as the, the thought shapes, rather like the idea shapes, if you will, uh, with that idea, you will be able to go for a long wave. So yeah, the setback you are going to experience, it has a reason for it and it's for the greater good, for your greater good here. Now, those who are looking for a job <clears throat> this week, uh, there, may, there may be a lack, of, um, um, a lack of opportunities for you to find a job. And that, again, is happening for a reason, because in neither of those jobs, you would have been happy. Uh, and uh, pretty much your personal contribution would have been abused. Like, you know, you would have been forced to work extra labor, underpaid, and all these kind of things that's, mm, how do you say it, not unfaithful, but let's say nefarious boss does. So that was about your career. Now let's have a look what you are to experience in terms of a relationship. Or not nefarious, but let's say dishonest boss does. So relationship wise, the first one, it is the hangman. So um, followed by the nine of cups. Uh, furthermore, we do have the death card and the last one, uh, that will be the 10 of pentacles. Well, the, the theme is very similar. I mean, the hangman, it does look like that it has a, a very strong manifestation in, um, in your current week. Just let me uh, plug my computer on because it's gonna die soon. Okay, as I am recording on it. So, <clears throat> the hangman has a, a pretty big manifestation into your week and uh, in your relationship life. I mean, those are the cards once again. We do have the hangman, the death card, uh, the nine of cups, I'm sorry, the death card, and then the last one is the ten of pentacles. So, in your relationship life, you are also going to experience, to experience setback and health. Now here, however, the, uh, the reason for that setback in health, it is so you don't end up in some kind of a dependency from a person specifically, okay? Uh, and the typical example of that thing is that, you know, you pretty much try, are trying to be with, uh, with somebody and things were simply don't wanna happen this week, you know? Um, they want to be with you, you want to be with them, but still you, you can't establish anything. And that is because you're going to end up in a pretty big dependency from that person if you do it, uh, if you do it this week. So <clears throat> throughout the setback and the inactivity of the whole situation, and that will be your inactivity. So here it will be a bit difficult to, to explain it, guys. Uh, it's like that. Uh, you won't be able to do anything about it, but, right? but in the same time, the situation itself is going to be in flux and things are going to start changing there. Now, it doesn't look like that you're going to be very happy with the changes at all that are happening within your social circle, within your uh, marriage or, or within your relationship uh, for that matter. And um, it seems that it will feel like you are losing a grip. It, it will feel like, you know, you are pretty much lose not losing it but yeah well it's, it's it's like losing it letting it go and uh, you can't do anything about it the more you try to sustain the worse the things are are, are becoming that is very 
valid for the hangman there. You know, the more you try to gain control, the worse the situation becomes. Now the thing, however, here it is that with the death card, whatever it's, it's changing and whatever is walking away from your life, that is because they have no purpose there anymore. I mean, you may think that they do have purpose. They, those things, I mean, not just only people, although it could be as well a person, they do serve a purpose, but they don't any longer. I mean, you have consumed whatever you could have with that guy, with that girl, or with the enterprise that may walk away from your life that is going to start changing because here we do have a change through a substitution what i mean is that one thing leaves your life and another one takes its place which is uh, literally the same thing but better uh, for example one relationship ends and gets replaced with another okay one stage of relationship ends and it gets placed uh, replaced with another your singular life ends and gets replaced with a relationship life so it's not going to be it will be a, a change through a replacement and substitution and all that is happening so you can uh, not end up being dependent once again of uh, of a certain circumstances or of a certain individual so suffice to say here with this reading if you are experiencing some kind of an abusive relationship it's very likely that that relationship is going to either change or it's going to stop existing at all throughout that particular week uh, <clears throat> If you are in a disadvantageous, disadvantageous position, that also is going to change and it's going to change on its own accord. Okay, you can't do much about it. Uh, and at the end, although the, uh, the whole week you may feel stagnated, okay, that you can't do anything about yourself, about the relationship and so on and so forth, things are going to set up themselves in a such a way or settle themselves in a such a way that you are to feel rather quite cozy, quite comfortable uh, in your environment, either be in a relationship or not. And uh, the best thing it is that you won't feel dependent anymore from anything or anybody in terms of love. Um, and at that point, it's very possible that someone from your past may appear. Okay, that 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 will be just for some of you. Okay, it's not going to be valid for every single Aquarius, but it is very possible that someone of your past may come back in your life. Are you going to let him in? That depends entirely on you. So that was your uh, weekly tarot reading Aquarius. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. Uh, and we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.